Hello everyone. Welcome to the Deep Web Vault. We briefly touched upon this subject in our first Woodward TV video, but in the Deep Web community, operating systems are a very touchy subject. The question of which OS is the best has been around since the beginning of time. Some are avid fans of Windows and will defend Microsoft until the very end, disregarding the shady shit they do. Some would sell their souls to protect their beloved Mac class and Apple, and of course, there are the Linux supporters. First things first, we would like to establish that this video is not to tarnish your opinion. Don't get offended if your preference is not optimized for the deep web. Our channel has quite a few goals, one of them being to cut through the misconceptions. We will list all of the pros and the cons of each and every main category of operating systems, these being Windows, Mac OS, Hunix, Tails, and other Linux-based systems. As a quick introduction for those who don't know all of them. Windows is Microsoft's free-to-use operating system line, which most likely runs on your computer. It is a very basic system, which has tons of benefits and oh so many flaws. If you saw my rants on Twitter, which I have since deleted, you'll know how infuriating this OS can be. Mac OS is the system Apple computers such as MacBooks and iMacs run on. It is great in many things and not so great at others. It's a clean and well-designed operating system with fantastic software exclusive to those who use it. If you don't want to buy an iMac or a MacBook for full price, you can pirate Mac OS and install it on non-Apple hardware. These are known as Hackintosh computers. Hunix is a Unix-based operating system. It is made for Tor and the Deep Web. You may feel like this intro spoiled which system is the best, but let's not jump to conclusions yet. Tails is an operating system which is probably the hardest to install if it isn't on a virtual machine. It is made by the same people who made Tor. Just like Hunix, it's supposed to be perfect for users of the deep web. We'll soon find out. And last, but definitely not least, Linux in general. Just like Windows, Linux is a free open software, or OS in this case, with a teeny tiny difference. They are nothing alike. Linux uses completely different file formats and works entirely different. Basically, Linux is Windows made for one specific thing, usually programming, which it is especially good at. Now, hear us out, because we already hear Linux users bashing their heads against their keyboards, raging in the comments how there are an insane variety of Linux types. Yes, there is a massive difference. The most notable Linux systems or distributions we will be focusing on are the Buntus. What are the Buntus? Well, they are Ubuntu, Lubuntu, Xubuntu, Kubuntu, and Idubuntu. Why are we throwing all of them under Linux? Well, obviously, they are all Linux-based OSs, but they are very similar to each other. Not only in the name, but what actually matters to us in this video, anonymity and deep web usability. We will be rating each system by deep web related functions and some other factors. At the end of every segment, we will gather the pros and cons of each OS. Every pro is worth one deep web point, and each con is worth minus one deep web point. We will add the numbers up, and at the end of the videos, we will order the OS by their deep web points. Any OS that breaks even is passable, and if it gets more than zero deep web points, it is officially approved for deep web usage by deep web bot. With those short introductions and rules out of the way, let us begin. But before we do, we would once again like to say that we are not telling you whether your preference is incorrect or wrong. You are entitled to your opinion and we fully respect it. The point of this video is to determine which system is the best for you. Microsoft Windows Guys, Windows is bad. It's real bad, both for anonymity and deep web usage. 
don't get us wrong, Windows is a rather clean and very easy to use OS, but it's Microsoft. Now, before we explain why Microsoft's presence ruins everything, we need to address a point. We too use Windows, but then how fucking dare we talk about anonymity? That story is a bit more complicated. Sony Vegas only runs on Windows and we are really bad at using Premiere Pro. The intro you see at the beginning of every video is basically the best we can do in After Effects and right now there's no way we can learn how to edit in a completely different software. Thus, we can only use Windows no matter how much we don't want to. Back to the subject of the deep web. We left off on the notion that Microsoft is crippling your usage of the deep web and is infringing your human rights to stay anonymous. When you install Windows 10, which is presumably your Windows version considering the misconception that it is the best version up to date, you would have to read a 4628 word terms of service. Considering that Google's terms of service is 3,942 words long, and with all of the sub-articles with 8 hours of daily reading, it would take 67 birthdays to finish. You realistically didn't read Vintan's terms of service. Now, why does this matter? Well, because the terms of service says that by installing your fantastic new OS, you agree to Microsoft seeing, collecting, and setting anything you do. Not to mention that most of the viruses, at least 80%, are Windows exclusive, just like Vegas. So the true downfall of Windows, ironically, is how mainstream it is. Your new fantastic OS doesn't seem so fantastic now, does it? So what are the pros and cons of Windows 10? Why is it so light? Windows 10 is relatively fast. It really depends on hardware, but it can run at quite a decent speed. It has a decent user interface. It isn't very pretty at all, but it is still quite customizable. We still prefer Windows 7 in this context. Most software is produced for Windows, and quite a bit of those are exclusive to Windows. As you can probably tell, there are no deep web related posts to Windows. I wonder why. Cons. Windows, especially 10, is quite unreliable. For us, it crashes every couple of days at best, which, if you've seen my Twitter rants, is really fucking annoying. Most of the viruses just cannot be run on macOS or Linux-based systems. Only Windows will be infected with every virus on the deep web. Microsoft steal your data. No matter your reason, if you want to stay anonymous, it's quite a problem when somebody watches, logs, and sells all your interests and actions at any possible chance. Now imagine a country where marijuana is illegal, even if it is prescribed to you by a doctor. If you ran out and you desperately needed more, but your doctor wouldn't prescribe you the cannabis you so badly desire to ease your pain, you went looking for it on the deep web, and Microsoft saw all of it. Guess what happened? In a few weeks at best, in a mysterious fashion, the police came knocking on your door about your cannabis. I wonder how. Windows. It was all Windows and Microsoft's fault. Just to make a few good bucks. Kind of depressing, isn't it? Windows Defender is awful. Say all you want, Windows Defender is the dumbest, worst antivirus of all time. All it takes is someone with a very minimal understanding of the Windows command prompt, and a few lines of code and boom, all of Windows Defender's data is on the pirate bay, free for any hacker to exploit. You don't even need a Windows PC to get the code. Download an ISO image of Windows 10, Insert in virtual box, and a few lines of code later, your built in antivirus, which is said to be the 8th best antivirus of 2018, is broken through by the most basic of hackers. Sad. 
Windows Autosave is actually non-existent. Yes, some Microsoft Office applications do have autosave, which saved a lot of my work once or twice. But what happens to non-Microsoft apps? Rely on the god-awful autosave in Vegas or Chancellor Premiere Pro? Unlike macOS, which has a great autosave system, on Windows, you transit or save every few minutes, which is very distracting. Trust me, as a script writer, this makes my life so much harder whenever I write a script. And yes, this point seems to not be related to the deep web all that much, but think about it. If you get hacked and manage to get rid of the virus and recover your saved data, your unsaved data will be lost. All the juicy unsaved information will be lost forever. Windows has some serious issues for deep usage, coming in with 3 pros and 5 cons, which results in a score of minus 2 deep web points. Not an optimal score now, is it? This is why people in the deep web community hate Windows. Apple's Mac OS The next OS in our site is the also oh famous, or for some, infamous Mac OS. Some love it for its clean design and great exclusive apps, and some hate it. But we're not here to judge an OS for regular use, we're here to see if it fares well on the deep web. First of all, Tor works a lot better on macOS than Windows. Ever wondered why Siri is so dumb, or why it can't remember its own sentence which it said seconds ago? But that's because of a rare trait of Tim Cook, and a very admirable one at that. He doesn't allow Siri to gather data about you. Now, yes, the cost of this is that the famous Apple AI does not learn from you. But do you not see the implications here? Apple don't collect data about you. That's the key. You are much safer using macOS. Not only is your identity not sold to those despicable advertisers who are the reason YouTube still exists, but your data, stored on any existing storages plugged into your Mac, are also a lot safer. Why? Well, according to darkwebnews.com, Nats only make up 4.29% of the market shares. That is laughably low. And that's the point. As we discussed, Windows is the target of most attacks, as it is the most common PC OS of the century, and probably will be for at least a decade. So going unpopular means that you're safer, right? Normally when we ask a question like this one, the answer is no, but this is an exception. This is where the true genius of using macOS to go onto the deep web lies. Since Windows is so mainstream, Hackers usually leave Mac users alone. MacOS also has a better defense system than Windows Defender, although you still need to get an antivirus. But that's just a marginal difference. The problems with MacOS arise when we talk about exclusive software, but that is a trait definitely worth your anonymity. Pros Macs are less targeted by viruses, and most viruses can't be run on them. The defense system is a slight bit better on Macs than on Windows. Apple don't gather and sell data about you, thus you can actually maintain your anonymity. Cons. Macs are insanely expensive, and the App Store doesn't work on hacking dash devices. Some software doesn't run on macOS. That's three pros and two cons, which means that macOS gets one deep web point. That's a major upgrade compared to Windows, and is officially deep web waterproofed. Hoonix. Hoonix is an interesting OS. Definitely an amazing one. I'm not a fan of Linux, but when I first found this, which to my other shame was not that long ago, my mind was absolutely blown. It is a quite complicated system, but it's definitely a really good one. Let's go over why. 
To get this OS, you need Windows, Mac OS, or a different Linux distribution. Download VirtualBox, then go to the Hunix website and download those two. Yes, those two. You will need the Gateway and Workstation. Once they are downloaded, open VirtualBox and click File, then Import Appliance. Select the Gateway first, then do the same with the Workstation. If you wish, modify how much RAM you will give them. But the Workstation, in our opinion at least, should have at least 8GB of RAM. Start the virtual machine and you will be greeted by the Anon Connection Wizard. If you aren't, then click on the Start menu and open it. You may need a password to proceed. This password is Change Name. No capital letters or space between words. Set it up like you would set up Tor on your regular PC. Select OBFS4 and continue. Selecting a proxy is unnecessary, but can be done. If you don't want to, just click continue a bunch of times, then finish. Do not shut down the gateway. You will need it later on. Now you can open the workstation and select Tor Browser. If you follow the steps, you should be able to browse the deep web. So, let's see why we think this is genuinely one of the greatest OSs for deep web surfing right now. If you like any of the operating systems we've mentioned so far, you probably like this one. The UI is basically Mac OS with the messages being Windows XP-esque. It feels like a true hybrid between the color vomit wallpaper of Windows 8, the cleanness of a Mac, and Windows XP's Windows XP-ness. It's very easy to use once you get the hang of it, but other than looks, it has many benefits. Unlike Windows or Mac OS, Linux-based systems don't really have a collective owner, and opposite to Windows 10, they don't collect any data about you. Another added benefit compared to Macs is that this one is free. All you need is a computer and a few gigabytes of spare RAM. It isn't a replacement for Windows, nor is it a substitute for macOS as it can't open .exe and .dmg files. However, the true greatness of Unix is that it doesn't want to be or pretend to be a superior system. Unlike most, you don't need to ditch your current OS for Unix, as it can run on any operating system. It is rather secure and will most definitely fulfill your desire to stay hidden from people spying on you. It has a few security flaws here and there as a Linux, but it is a great OS overall. We could go on for days about how good it is even for people who hate Linux, but since we have two more main categories and this script is already very long, let's wrap Unix up with the pros and cons. Pros. Hunix is free, all you need is a bit of RAM and an internet connection. Hunix can't collect data about what you do, so you have full anonymity. It can run on any major OS. The system requirements are not high at all, so even a mediocre computer can handle it no problem. It is optimized for Tor, which means that it will perform to Tor's utmost limits. Unix is a very easy to use system once you have it figured out and working. You don't have to change permanently to this OS. You can use it only to browse the deep web. Cons. Very complicated to set up. Can only be run in virtual box and can't run generic file formats, so those who would wish to use this OS permanently cannot. Its only use is deep web browsing. The end result is 7 pros and 3 cons. That means that Hunix gets a whopping 4 deep web points. That's 4 times more than the previous best. So, it's settled then, isn't it? The Bantus are just less deep web optimized Linux worlds, aren't they? Not so fast, for we have one more very likely contender. Tails OS. Tails. Tails is an operating system made for Tor by the people who made Tor. Tails can be used in two ways. Number one, booting from two USB drives. 
to using a virtual machine without the installing, formatting, and booting two USB drives is the actually safe method. We only have one external drive, a 1TB HDD, which contains all of the material used in our videos and all of our videos. We can't store that data anywhere else, not even temporarily, and we can't afford to format it, so we have to pick the less safe option. A virtual machine. Now the problem with using Tails as a virtual machine is that there is a reason you want Tails on a USB. The speciality of Tails isn't that it's super anonymous online, but the fact that it lives in the RAM of the machine the USB is plugged into, erasing all trace of it ever existing just by pulling it out of the USB port. This way, if it fits on a USB, it is crazy safe. It won't leave a physical trail since it isn't a computer. So cookies won't be left on your anonymity OS and you won't be tracked. The other problem is a bit less serious. Your info is less safe, so you could basically be using Windows. Your OS can look into what you're doing as long as you aren't using a secure VM, negating the point of tears. Other than that, what even is Tails? Well, it is an actual hybrid of Windows and macOS. It has the style, look and feel of macOS to the point of having the top bar which is so iconic to Apple's computers. And what does it retain from its other parent, Windows? Well, not much really. The start menu from good old Windows 7 and the icons. Being perfectly honest, Tails is a safer macOS less optimized for everyday usage. But how? Well, Tails is a very obscure Linux distribution, which means that there are fewer viruses for it than macOS. Any connection Tails makes forces it through Tor browser, which drastically slows internet speed down in exchange for insanely high levels of anonymity. Combining this with bootable USB Tails, Although you won't be absolutely 100% safe and anonymous, that's literally impossible, you will be the safest. Maybe in the near future, we will get a real Tails, but for now, we will deal with the VM. Again, we could go on and on about how fantastic Tails is, but we don't want to drag this video out for too long, so let's finish Tails with the pros and cons once more. Pros. Perfect core performance. Very few viruses exist for Tails, leaves absolutely no trail behind itself as long as it is a USB. Most anonymous operating system in this video, Tails is constantly being updated to be more secure. It can be forced to run .exe files. Tails is free, just like Unix. You don't need a laptop to transport Tails, you just need your USB which has Tails on it. It can be installed in virtual box, although it isn't recommended. Cons Internet connection is limited to 22 megabits per second for more anonymity. Tails have 9 pros and only 1 real con. That means that Tails has 8 defect points. That is double that of Unix and 8 times more than a third highest contender yet. Time for the Bantus. Other Linux distributions. So Linux, or in this case the Ubuntu systems, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Subuntu, Kubuntu, and Ibubuntu, what do they all have in common other than their names? They don't spy on you. Other than that, they are not specialized versions of Unix and especially Tails. Stop typing your rage comment. Universally, Ubuntu and its other versions are much better and more useful than Unix. Too bad this isn't an OS review, this is an analysis of which OS is the best on the deep web, and Linux is definitely a good one. They are fast, they work well, and there are very few viruses for them. Their security systems are identical. There's not much more to say about these very solid systems, so let's run down the pros and cons and rank the OSs. Pros. Very few viruses. No company is spying on Linux users. Faster internet connection than Tails. More simple to set up than Hoonix. Can be more customized to your needs. 
both Deepweb and regular use more than either macOS or Windows. Linux has distributions like Lubuntu which have very low hardware requirements, so you can have hardware which can't run Windows 10 and you can still run Lubuntu on it. Cons Linux can't run .exe and .dmg files, so if you can't find a way to convert your past work, you will lose all of it while switching to this OS. To use Linux, you have to abandon your current system. If you're not a Linux user, this is a problem. Since Linux is so unpopular, even less common than macOS, you will face a massive lack of software. Now this excludes store, but for example you will need to set up a VPN for yourself which is considerably harder than downloading the VPN and paying a couple of dollars a month like on Windows and macOS. We mentioned that Linux can run on weak hardware, that wouldn't be enough for Windows, but sadly this goes the other way around. Linux may not support your hardware. In total, Linux has 6 pros and 4 cons, which means that the Bantus get 2 deep web points. Before we move on to the final rating, we would like to explain something, which probably many Linux users have already screamed in the comments. There are many different distributions other than Ubuntu, and you are perfectly right. Ubuntu and its other versions make up only a small portion of Linux. In fact, Ubuntu is not even the most used Linux distribution. So why did we give the entire title of Linux to them? Well, even the most popular distro, Mint, is Ubuntu based and most of their security systems are very similar if not identical. The other reason is a bit of a failure on our part and we need to apologize for it. As we mentioned, Linux comes in a wide array of different distributions, which would make it nearly impossible to study and dissect all of their protections. Not to mention that we would have to write a script for all of these different categories, and we would be sitting here for at least a month just on this script. That's just not something we can do right now, so please forgive us for only showing you what Ubuntu is capable of. With that off our chests, let's cap off this video by ranking the operating systems we talked about today. In the last place comes Windows, especially 10. This is the one system which did not pass at all and came in with a pathetic minus 3 deeper points. Guys, we are saying this for your sakes. Do not use Windows while browsing the deep web. We ourselves were forced to use Windows until we found out that Hoonix is a reliable substitute for Tails we can use. You will not see us using Windows in another video, and we apologize for coming off as unprofessional. Windows really is horrible for the deep web. Microsoft see what you do, and all the viruses can fuck you over. We don't want to criticize Windows for other uses, because it would be very biased against it, because we hate Windows, but just for deep web use, don't use Windows. Use a virtual machine instead. Anything but Windows. macOS takes the third place with one deep web point. While this seems terrible, consider that this is still four more points than Windows. macOS really dominates here, as it is great for general use and good for the deep web. If you're looking for an overall very rounded OS, definitely pick this one. Good for any uses we would have and has great apps exclusive to it. Next up are Ubuntu and its family OS's. They really feel like Mac OS if that's what you're into and they perform much better on the deep web. 2 deep web points is still double of what Mac OS is capable of. Not necessarily well-rounded in average and deep web usage, but still very good. The Ubuntu family definitely hold their own well against other systems. The silver medal goes to Hoonix, a Linux distribution specialized for deep web usage. It is well-designed and overall very well-made. The only real downfall is that it can't become your native main OS. It can only run as a VM. This one definitely deserves its spot as the second best deep web operating system we've seen yet. And at number one comes Tails. 
steamrolling and crushing any competition with mind-bogglingly high ATB prep points. Tails is a perfect operating system, a match made in heaven for the prep users. The only problem is that it is insanely complicated to get it to work properly. The fact that you need two USB drives just proves on point that it needs a lot of dedication, but it is 100% worth it. Tails truly deserves its certificate of approval. So, which one fits your needs? Let us know in the comments below or the poll in the annotation. We really do care which most people choose. Hopefully not Windows. Let that be the takeaway. Windows is god awful for deep web usage and isn't great for many other uses. Good for gaming, not so good for working. Wonder how many people that pissed off. For those who did not unsubscribe and dislike the video because of that last statement, stay safe, sweet dreams.